What's up, YouTube? Uh, I'm going to be doing a review on the uh, Nyko PlayerPad Pro controller uh, that's for any uh, tablet or Android phone. Uh, you can play games, emulators. This is awesome for it. Uh, I just wanted to do a review on this because I absolutely love this controller. And uh, also, a little bit later in the video, I'm going to show you guys how to configure it to an Android phone. Um, I know some people were having trouble with it. On I've read some reviews, and they gave this bad reviews. They, I don't know if they couldn't figure it out or what, but for my phone here, it works flawlessly. And uh, I'll list some of the specs that you guys need in order for, uh, for this thing to work on a phone especially. Um, so yeah, this is the box that it came in here. It, it is uh, Bluetooth, and it is uh, compatible with thousands of games, it says on the box. Um, another reason why I got this controller was uh, there was a cheaper one there that was 29 bucks, and it said it was only compatible with select games, so I did not trust that one. Uh, so I went with this one. It is Bluetooth, and uh, it's compatible with thousands of games. And I got it to work uh, with two emulators. Now, I, I, my Nintendo emulator that's on my phone, Android, and uh, my uh, Super Nintendo emulator. So I'm going to show you guys how to configure this controller to work on an Android phone. All right, a little bit about this controller. Uh, there's certain. There's a couple different settings on here. On the back, uh, as you can see that there. Uh, there's different modes for this, basically, and you just m move this little thing here. Uh, it has basically just like a little controller icon. There's something for iCade. I'm not really sure familiar with that. Um, you can use it, I guess, as the mouse, and as and then if you want to use this controller for an app, you have to switch this to app. So, but right now, I'm just going to show you guys how to do this on emulators because that's really the only thing I'm going to use this for. Uh, for emulators, uh, you're going to switch it to uh, this little controller icon here. It's all the way to the uh, left on the controller. And uh, believe it or not, I know a lot of people don't like to uh, read instructions or anything, but I, if you read the instructions that it comes with, it, trust me, it helps you out a lot because I was having a little bit of trouble at first, and then I'm like, eh. I'll just read the instructions and it was perfect. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to select the mode that you want to wish that, to use, uh, which will be we're just going to use the regular controller mode. Now um, we're going to turn the controller on, and how you do that is you hold in the home button for about three to four seconds, and it should light up here. There it is. It's lit up, and this is blinking slowly. That's fine. Uh, it's a solid orange there. Uh, make sure you charge the battery fully too. Uh, you just plug it in. This is the micro USB right here, and then the USB uh, goes. In, the regular USB goes in your computer, and you can also use this uh, while it's charging. I did play games while it was charging on a computer, so that's kind of nice. Um, now it says next we will. Uh, the player one indicated the mode is indicated, and uh, now you're going to search for new devices on your mobile phone, and um, uh, an important thing I want to point out for this is, guys, that I I did read that uh, in order to configure this for like emulators and stuff, where it's uh, where you can map it, where it's uh, touch sensitive, where you like say for example you're in the emulator configuration and you push this for A and it recognizes it automatically. You apparently you need Android 4.0 uh, to to do that, 4.0 or higher. I believe so maybe that's why some people were having trouble because uh, their Android isn't um, up to date enough I'm not sure luckily I just got the update on this one not too long ago to 4.0 this is the Sony Xperia by the way it is an Android and I'm running 4.0 we're gonna go to the settings here uh, just find that yeah just find the settings that are on your phone and then you're gonna click uh, Bluetooth right here uh, it says Turn on Bluetooth. Uh, so what we're going to do now is turn on Bluetooth because it's not on. So obviously make sure Bluetooth is on. That's that's how I do it. On your phone it's probably different because this is Sony's interface here. Uh, let's see. Okay, Bluetooth is now on. Now we're going to click Bluetooth again. As you can see, it's it already recognizes it. If it's not there, click Search for Devices, and it'll search it. <coughs> I'm not sure what the second one is here, but the one that you're interested in is the uh, the one that looks like a little joystick right here. Uh, so we're going to select that. It says connecting. It'll say connected. Okay, make sure you do that. Now, um, okay, so we're going to go back. And uh, 
it says the LED light on the controller uh, should be um, slowly flashing. Uh, right now it's okay. Now that now that we turned the Bluetooth on and enabled the controller, you could you could see that it's solid uh, orange, and that's good. That means it's configured properly. It says if done properly, the player indicator light, which is here. Uh, will now glow solid orange and you have successfully paired your controller with your Bluetooth on your phone. Another little accessory I recommend getting everybody is uh, this little thing here. It has a variety of these things. It basically props up your phone. This is a universal one. This one's okay. Sometimes it comes off. But there's a whole bunch of different other ones that are designed. I'm sure they're better. Uh, but it just suctions basically on the back here like so. And uh, it'll allow you to prop it up, which is nice, because, you know, you can play uh, a game and it'll be uh, propped up just like that. So now I'm going to show you guys, just give you a quick demo on uh, me playing an emulator here. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my emulators. Okay. Let's go to uh, Super Nintendo. I, I only have one game for that right now. Uh, these the emulators you get free off the Android market. Uh, you can buy the ones that are uh, paid as well, uh, the full versions without ads and stuff. Uh, this is a very nice Super M Super Nintendo emulator, and as you can see, I have Mario All Stars. Uh, it's already configured. You would configure this like a normal um, controller. As if you're familiar with emulators on your computer, you just go into the different. Every emulator is different. Uh, but it's it's real simple. So you just go to the configuration controller one. You would click here up top where it says A, and then you'll just type in what you want A to be on here. So and then once you do it, it automatically goes to the next one. So you A B X Y, up down left right start select, and you just you go through all the buttons till it's all finished, and then it's easy as that to configure it. All right, all right. So right now I'm just going to show you the uh, Mario All Stars here that I have. Uh, as you can see, uh, I'm using this controller right here, guys. It's all I'm using. See? As far as, like, response and everything, uh, it, it's really nice. I don't barely notice any lag at all on this. I'm able to do moves that I normally would uh, when playing on my computer with that controller. Um, it's just, it's really responsive for a Bluetooth. This is really the first Bluetooth device that I've had here because I've never really got the headsets or anything but uh, it, it works really well and as you can see I'm playing a uh, I'm playing Mario All-Stars right now guys on my Android phone my remember my Android is 4.0 so I'm not sure if that makes a difference uh, on whether you can use this controller for emulators um, but it does work on Android 4.0 and it should work on any phone because it's all uh, it's all universal with like Bluetooth and everything um, it's just your interface might be different to configure Bluetooth but uh, other than that it's we'll go ahead and beat the first level here yeah it's it's very responsive that it's comfortable to play and I did that all with this guys right here so as you can see again I'm, uh, I'm playing with this controller here and that's it, guys. It's simple as that. And you, the, I tried this also with the, the Nintendo emulator, and it worked flawless as well. Um, so, it, you know, there's different... Uh, so far, those two were fine. So I'm assuming it should work with everything else. Um, And we beat the second level. Fantastic. One more quick little note, guys, if you are having trouble. I'm not sure if this makes a difference or not, but I think it, it seemed to have made a difference for me. Um, if you go into your Bluetooth settings here, this is your main Bluetooth menu, and you click the little settings next to the joystick one here, Nyko Pad Pro, the one that looks like a little joystick, you click the settings tab here. Um, make sure this is checked, the uh, input device connected to input device make sure that's checked uh, especially for emulators it seems to uh, it didn't seem to work before uh, for me when that was unchecked so yeah just make sure that's checked if you're having any difficulties alright that's it thank you for watching my uh, review 
on the uh, the Nyko Player Pad Pro, and I also showed you how to configure it uh, with emulators for Android 4.0. And uh, this is for any emulator fanatic out there. Get this controller hands down. Uh, this is is the first one I had, but it's I, I'm in love with it, so uh, it's definitely not a disappointment. Thanks for watching.